on, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we got this bike here. It's a Coleman. Got a Honda 160 on it. This is not my bike. Uh, guy wants, uh, guy wants to buy that Briggs and Stratton six and a half horse off of me. So, uh, that's what we're going to be putting on here for him. He's got. He's got a race coming up with his buddy, so uh, they're going to have a race. Um, but this thing, I just thought it would be fun. He said I can have this engine. So I thought it would be fun to try to start it. Now, it used to have a, let's get this out here in the light. It used to, it was set up for a torque converter, a CV clutch system, whatever you want, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's, you know, but look at that shaft, how short that is. Look at that. I don't know if someone's cut that off there, but... What can you do with an engine with a shaft that short? You know, you weld it and extend it, but he said it runs. I just thought it'd be fun to try to fire it up, but I pulled this rope, pulled the cord, and it doesn't feel like it's got very much compression. So I don't know. I just thought we'd do a well it run on it. <clears throat> He's got another engine I'm going to get off of him, too, so. But, yeah, he's he's going to buy that six-and-a-half horse Briggs. And I'm going to put that on there for him. We're going to put a CV, you know, the torque converter on it. And this, this, uh, this sprocket is very tiny. So he's not going to have a lot of power. He's going to have a lot of speed, but he's not going to have much power at all with uh, with a sprocket that small. If I was him, I'd I'd go with a bigger sprocket, but eh, I'll see what he wants to do. Uh, but I thought it'd be cool just to see if we can do a will it run on it. He said it does, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> all right, guys, hang tight. Okay, guys, so I turned the switch on. I pulled the rope and I held on to the plug wire and it's got plenty of spark but I also noticed this spark plug is very loose he didn't even have it all the way in hand tight and that gap I'm sure that's not the right plug it is an NGK that gap there's no gap so I don't know if he did that because with it screwed all the way in, I don't know if the pitch, piston touches that or not. So, uh, <laughs> let me grab another spark plug. Okay, guys, so I've screwed that all the way in there, and it didn't touch. The piston didn't hit. So, that seems to be the right plug. So, let's go ahead. Since the plug is out, uh, we're just going to do a quick will it run. Like I said, I don't know what I'd ever do. It feels like it's low compression. And, you know, with that shaft, it looks like it's been cut off. I don't know why that shaft would be so short. I don't know what I'd do with it, but, you know, it'd be a good good parts engine, providing that the spark plug, or the carburetor's good. But, I mean, you know, we know, because I know it's got sparks, so we know it's got... You know, the coil's good. He's missing a bolt up here. So, I mean, I think it'd, it'd be an alright parts motor. Alright, there's no... Maybe that'll stay on there good enough. Let me back you out a little bit here so I don't hit you. And, uh, let's see if this thing will fire up. Switch is on. 
I don't see a choke. Right. Wow. He was right, it does run. Okay, that'd be, if anything, you know, I mean, it's a free motor. Uh, it would be a good, a good parts, parts engine. Uh, it's, it did start up wide open though. Uh, governor's unhooked. Not sure what he's got going on here. I don't know, but I'm gonna pretty much build him a bike's what I'm doing. And he's gonna pay me for it. I'm also working on something else. I'll uh, throw those couple clips in. Uh, I gotta order some parts for a guy. Um, working on these little, it's an adult go-kart really. I mean, it's like a, it's like a mini dune buggy. So uh, check, check these clips out. This is what I'm work, what I started working on yesterday. Everyone, Shaper 1000 here. This is what we're working on today. It's got some electrical issues. Keeps popping a fuse, and uh, some wiring is getting hot. So it sounds like it may need a. I'm gonna have to check the wiring. Sounds like it might be uh, shorted somewhere. So I'm gonna check, make sure the battery's got juice in it, and. Uh, We'll go from there okay so i did find a problem with it um the solenoid was bad and the cdi box was bad so i'm going to order those parts for him now um yeah he, he was telling me it was smoking but he didn't tell me that it it stopped running and he just kept cranking and cranking and cranking on it until the battery went dead so and i was like oh okay well he brought out it uh, like a, a paper bag you know like a grocery style bag full of parts that he got when he got the bike from his neighbor when he got the cart from his neighbor and he brought a bag of parts out and it had a new ignition switch it or not new it had a used ignition switch solenoid cdi box spark plug and that was telling me somebody was troubleshooting because he said this is the second time it's happened. So I think the CDI boxes are going bad on that thing. They're no tours for that. So what I did was I should have filmed it and I forgot all about it. He was like, man, you should have filmed that. Uh, you just take your CDI box, drop it about I don't know, 18 inches, two feet off of concrete, drop it flat, and then try it and check it for spark. That usually resets them. Now that's not a fix. That's just telling you, yeah, I got to get one. So, but yeah, that thing fired right up. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Just thought I'd do something today. I'm kind of going to take it easy today. So, uh, I'll get this get this video up for you, and so you can have something to check out. I just thought this is a pretty neat little bike here. This Coleman monkey is like, wow, cool! I didn't know Coleman made a. <laughs> yeah, they. They make mini bikes and they also make uh, go karts. Now this, you know, his brake. <laughs> He's got issues with his brakes, and so I don't know what he wants to do about that. But you know, that's see this this kind of thing is going to be extra. So he he bought the six and a half horse Briggs off of me, and um, that motor right down there and uh so he'll be paying me for that and for putting it on and getting it running so i don't know what he wants to do about that brake but that that would have to cost extra because that's extra parts and uh but i told him yeah he needs to put a a torque converter on there and he's probably if i was him i'd put a bigger sprocket on there because this thing, though it would be fast, you're not going to have anything out of the hole. You're not going to have any torque at all, you know. So, yeah, that that sprocket's just way too small because you, you know, I mean, you can get, you can go, you can make it an in between, you know, where you got some torque and you got some speed. That's that's what I would do with it, because, you know, this is off road bike. This is a trail bike. Look how wide them tires are. 
you know them tires are really wide it's not you know something you want to be up to 60 miles an hour on every day you know what i mean you're going to be riding it off road and going up hills and stuff so you, you need some torque so but anyway once i get the uh buggy done for his friend that's for another guy so once i get that buggy done and then i'll talk to him more about this see what he wants to do i don't know how much money he wants to put in it but yeah so there you go another will it run successful it did run but man i'm telling you it, it just feels like there's no compression but it sounded pretty good but that shaft like right now you can't put a clutch on there or nothing you know it just you can't do it you can't put a clutch on there it's not you know the shaft's not long enough for it so but like i said that'll be a good parts motor all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the myth the man the legend gone for now we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye everyone take care